All right, guys, first thing on the list. I'm pretty sure I saw a flag in here. I'm gonna try to take care of that flag. So as you can see, it's kind of looking pretty sad. <laughs> and there's one in the trees over here. Um, so I'm pretty sure I saw a flag in here. Yep, right here. So I'm gonna try to rig this up, take that one down, and make it look nice and pretty. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, I'm a little out of breath. I ran up and down the stairs like three or four times trying to get all the stuff I need. All right, so as you see in that last clip, I took I took that fire, I mean, that flag down. Uh, it was all wrapped up in this, this wire and stuff. So I can't use this wire anymore, it's damaged. So I got this uh, um, clamp, I'm gonna put it right up here. I'm gonna rig it up here top of the flag go through there and top there and I'm gonna tie a string to this to the bottom of the flag what do you guys think I think it'll work all right guys what do you think I got all set up uh, so I used that clamp up top like I was gonna say it worked out beautiful I tied it to make sure if it ever broke or anything like that it'll still be attached to the tower and then down here I just tied it up to the bottom into here and I wrapped it back around so that won't go up and down because i don't have a nail or anything to hold that in uh but tying it like that will keep it still right there but what do you guys think huh a lot better than it was huh Let's see if you get a good wind that will uh make it blow in the wind <laughs> come on oh oh there we go it does blow in the wind we had a couple um gust of wind it was blowing pretty good awesome guys so flag done awesome next step this graffiti has to be all taken care of for instance like um jamaica mm -hmm. i said to you guys i'm staying at jamaica you're like yeah. oh where is that you know what i mean yeah and i said oh it's in vermont it's being like what an hour it's like an hour away and I was like, oh, it's way laid back, and you got to check it out. Now you guys know. I mean, yeah, how would you yeah, know? I mean, you saw yeah, the and I was like, oh, exactly, maybe we, yeah. Yeah. Can I can tell out. you guys would enjoy that. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you. Yeah. It's really old-fashioned. The town is laid back. There's an old country store. Uh, they got um, a good restaurant down the road that's called um, Honey Pie. Okay. I ate there last night. It was awesome food. I mean, it's just the... All right, guys, just had an awesome conversation with those visitors. Um, now I'm going to try to cover up this graffiti right here. It's about 12 o'clock right now. Um, let's see where it is. Got this canvas pretty much empty. There we go. Smoke gray. What's the color you want, huh, guys? All right, let's see what we need to do. All right, guys, I just finished up all that graffiti you guys saw. It's still somewhat wet, not too bad. Um, I'm probably gonna spray over here right when I go to leave. 
um, make sure nobody's here because um, I don't want somebody to rub against it uh, on the paint because that's where you come right up on the steps. But um, I'm about to fill this out now. This is the fire tower notes that um, like you know how many people we had, visitors, what we've seen, any vandalism. Uh, like I'm gonna put, I fixed the flag as you guys can see. Um, I did cover up the graffiti. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm about to do that. And uh, let's see what we do from there. Alright guys, later. Alright guys, just packed up the bags. There's that cable where that old flag was on that's totally destroyed. Um, I just want to show you guys this before I leave. Uh, right where these steps are would have been the front steps of the old cabin where Helen would have stayed. And uh, the cabin would have been right here. So I've been walking inside right here. And then this is still standing. Um, they said that they're not sure what it was used for. Maybe it was to collect water. I'm not really sure. But this is definitely original. But there was a cabin up here. and uh, But obviously it collapsed or they tore it down. I'm not really sure what happened to it. But... This was definitely part of the old cabin. I'm thinking it held water or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, I just want to show you guys this. That this would have been where the cabin sat. Right here. And this is me walking through her front door, which she did a lot. And walking right and seeing the fire tower right there. Pretty cool, guys. All right, guys, let's get heading back. All right, guys, just getting back to the Welcome Center. I'm going to hand in everything. Um, I'm also going to check out this restaurant that i seen on the way here. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys, try out the food, let you know another food, food review, if it's good or not. You know, thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go back to Jamaica. My campsite's wash up because I got spray paint all over. And then we're going to take it from there, what I'm going to do from there. So let's get it, guys. All right, guys, I just changed my shirt. It's absolutely soaked in sweat and uh, pretty dirty. Um, but this is the place I wanted to check out. It's just about um, to the Vermont border. So uh, let's check it out. It kind of looks like it's ran down, but I think that's the style. But uh, this is stuff I love to try. Let's check it out, guys. Definitely the old house. I don't know if it's meant to look like it's ran down, but I don't know. Guess I'll go check it out inside, guys. Staying in uh, Jamaica, Vermont. Okay. I'm doing. I'm volunteering at the Fire Tower in Dickerson. Okay. So I'm just traveling back and forth. Gotcha. Well, yeah. Tammy's candy cattle. Um, okay. We got a Facebook page with a menu on. I know you're not here to eat, but if you want to skin night. Well, I might get somebody. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all right. You know, thank you. Check out and see what we're all about. Okay. Yep. Thank you.
do please come back and see us again, okay? I'm glad you checked out the reviews. Thank you for doing that. Are you going to order? Uh, yes, I'm going to get the half pound black Angus burger. Okay, which one? Because we have hamburger, cheeseburger, barbecue, Cajun, three cheese bacon. What do you recommend? Less three cheese bacon or hot mess. I mean, it, we use the same beef for all of them, so they're all okay. really, really good burgers. I'll just get a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger? Yep. And then the only, these are all going to come with fries, pickle, coleslaw. The only difference is half pound burger, three quarter pound. It just depends what size burger you want. Okay. We go up to a two pound. I'll just get a half pound. Half pound yep. cheeseburger? Okay. Half pound cheeseburger. And how would you like that cooked today? Uh, medium rare. Lettuce, tomato, and onion? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. American, Swiss, provolone, mari, jack, pepper, jack, or chatter? Uh, American. American, and that's going to come with your fries, pickle, and coleslaw. Are you going to need a drink today? Coke, diet, Coke, Sprite, root beer? Uh, root, root beer. All right, guys, I just got the food. This is called Tammy's Candy Kettle. I guess it can get pretty busy, so uh, they suggest ordering ahead. The lady is very nice. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, that looks really good. Got some coleslaw, a couple pickles, some fries. And an Angus burger. I'm gonna dig right into the Angus burger first. Wow, look how that looks amazing. I had to go for another bite, guys. It is so freaking good. Oh, man. Just melts in your mouth. That burger, five out of five. Satisfaction? Yes, thank you very much. No awesome. You. Fries are homemade too. Awesome, really good. Five out of five out of hamburger. Four and a half out of five on the fries. Just awesome, guys. I'm gonna try this coleslaw. really good. I'm gonna give it Tammy's Candy Kettle a 4.8 out of 5. It is better than um, I forget the place I went to yesterday. Check out this place guys, trust me. That being said, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna get going. I'll talk to you guys back in Jamaica. Later guys. Alright guys, I just took a shower, got some of that spray paint off me, and just a heads up, where I told you you gotta put quarters in to get hot water, or um, you're gonna take a cold shower. Um, there is no warning of when the hot water is gonna shut off, so I got dosed with some cold water. <laughs> it wasn't that bad though. Uh, just a heads up, there is no timer or no warning that telling you it's gonna shut off. Um, but I, okay, so I'm running a little bit behind, so I really wanted to do a fire tower tonight, but I got behind. I. Um, did eat that place took a little longer than I thought and coming back taking a shower So um, I'm not gonna do a fire tower because I'm not gonna make it <clears throat> So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a abandoned place. It's about 26 minutes away So hopefully it all works out. I can show you guys. All right guys. Let's get this adventure going All right guys just left the village store. It's just an awesome place guys highly recommend if you come to Jamaica make a stop there um, I picked up a brewski a uh, little spoiler alert, might be checking out this waterfall tomorrow. If everything goes right, fingers crossed. Um, I'm gonna have this tonight, but first, we're gonna check out that abandoned place. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, we made it to our destination. All right, so the place we're checking out is an old mental hospital or faculty, whatever you wanna call it. It was built in 1834, and then in 1887, the doctors thought that it um, would help out the patients um, if they got some fresh air and constructed something with their hands. So they built a tower up top, but sadly when it was completed, uh, more than several of the patients jumped off and committed suicide. So they're saying that this place is haunted, but um, I gotta get going, let's check it out before it gets too dark. Let's get it guys. 
All right, guys, I just got done talking to you guys. Um, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Um, it's going to be right over here. There's a parking area. It's right next to a ski resort. So if you guys are looking for uh, parking to go see this um, retreat tower, it's right next to the ski resort. So uh, let's go check this out. I hear this ghost and haunted and you hear noises. Looks pretty creepy. What do you guys think? Oh boy. <laughs> let's get it. All right, guys. Just got done climbing this huge hill. It's actually pretty steep. Holy moly. Um, we're about halfway there. Um, guys, look. The sun is setting. These woods are pretty creepy. <laughs> Just look at them and listen. I think I heard some things off to the left, like footprints or I mean uh, footsteps, but maybe it's just in my head. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just gonna keep going. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's get it, guys. All right, guys, I'm just uh, almost getting there. Got this. Was this a Blair Witch project, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Just need to keep going. Alright guys. We made it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting a creepy vibe right now. <laughs> this was built in 1887 guys. By the um Ment uh, mental ill pa patients. And many of them committed suicide when it was complete. Yeah, they said I read it, but it's locked. It's an old door too, wow. I'm assuming that this is old stone from the tower. Maybe it fell off the top. I'm not really sure. But yeah, the patients built this. Believe, the doctors believing that it would help out. Oh, look at the window up there, guys. I wish I could climb it. I wish I could see inside it. But like I was saying, the doctors believe it would help out with their patients, but sadly when it's completed, many of them committed suicide off of it. It's crazy. I would love to see the view. Get a wider shot. All right, guys, as you can see, we made it to the retreat tower. Um, I'm gonna go look around, see if I can find anything else out. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I get the creepy vibe right now, because just these woods and uh, the knowing that, you know, people committed suicide off this and supposedly it's haunted and mental institute here, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm gonna look around and then um, if you don't see me again, um, I'm gonna head back to uh, Jamaica, my state ground, um, state park, and then uh, I'll talk to you there. All right, guys, so I'm heading back. Um, originally, this is supposedly the original tower climb. So I came up, so I parked over there, so I came up the other backside of the trail and looped around. But this is actually the original trail up to the mountain. So I'm gonna head down to I'm gonna head down it, I'm not gonna come up it. So I'm gonna head down the original trail. But look at this old stone, guys. The patients must have put that wall up right there. 
It must have been all cleared out up there. Man, you could tell like right here, it's all this stone right here that was placed. This path, this is the original path guys from the 1800s. And it's really not used that much. But uh, I'm gonna use it today. So I'm walking the path of the patients. Wow. All right guys, Let's see where it goes. Here's another shot. Chell shot it like this. Went up like that, like a zigzag. There's the tower. Look at the old stone. Man. It's definitely been there a while because that tree grew over the stone. But they zigzag basically this trail right here up to the tower. They put all this rock right here, make it more smooth. Um, but we're gonna he keep heading down, but look how creepy these woods are, guys. <laughs> Man. Oh, look at this, guys. They had an old rail in here. Look how old that is. The actual tree grew into this piping or this railing. That's original. Oof, be careful. This is definitely creepy. <laughs> how old that staircase is, guys. Man. Holy moly, guys. So that's going up to the castle, the original trail. This is the original um, mental uh, faculty right here. Look how old that is, guys. Now that is creepy. This was built in the 1800s. 1834, if I can remember, this was built. Tell me that this ain't creepy. <laughs> oh man. Well here it is guys. This is where the patients would stay. Wow. See if you guys can see in there. Man, look at the roof, guys. Could imagine what it looked like in there. You know what? There's really, I mean, you have windows, but they're boarded up. That's maybe, I mean, yeah, to keep people out, but keep people from getting out, maybe? <laughs> Man, what a beautiful building, though. It's creepy, though. Like, where's... 
The front door has to be over here, I would assume. And guys, the castle, I don't know if you can see it from here, but the castle's right up here somewhere in this area. So the patients would walk around and head straight right up. But I don't even see how they got in there. I mean, these can't be doors, right? Man, this is creepy. I mean, yeah, I mean, unless it's buried some of the building and there's a I don't know. I mean, I guess that would be the door. It's kind of small door, don't you think? I'm gonna get a wider shot for you guys. Man, tell me that is not creepy, guys. <laughs> I'm so glad that I came and seen this. This was built in 1834, if I can remember. And then that shot up right here, the trail shot up. And that um, tower, you can't I can't really see it, but it's straight up there, like over here. And that was built in 1887. Man, I, I, I guess this door would be, I mean, if they lived in that, I mean, you'd go insane just living in something like that. Man, that's crazy. All right, guys, let's see if you can listen, hear any scary stuff. Be quiet. All right, guys, for we were just listening, I didn't hear anything. Maybe I did hear something. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head. I don't know. But um, it's pretty creepy here. I'm not going to lie. I keep thinking I'm hearing things around me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just paranoid. Um, but, guys, check out this building. How creepy is that, man? I mean, you uh, even if you weren't had a mental illness in the beginning, living in that thing, you would develop one. It's creepy, really creepy, guys. And I could imagine what's inside there. Um, hope, I mean, I would love to do a tour in there, but I doubt it. They'd have to break over the gate and stuff, but guys, just awesome. Um, but I'm gonna start heading back because I got a long hike um, back to my car. Um, it is starting to get dark out and I don't want to be in these woods more than I have to. <laughs> but if I hear anything more or anything, I'll turn on the camera and so you guys can hear and see. And I'm the one that's getting it, all right? <laughs> As you guys sit home. All right, guys, so if I don't see anything or anything like that, I'll meet you guys back. Uh, next time I see you, I'll be back at uh, Jamaica at the campgrounds. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, guys, I'm on my way back to uh, Jamaica State Park. There's the Audi, and look at this, guys, right off of the road. I, I came down this road before I didn't see, I must have missed it. Look at that, guys, look how beautiful that is. Let's see if I get closer. Now I didn't see a sign what this uh, the name of this waterfall is. Maybe I could find out, but I didn't see anything around it stating uh, the name of it. Uh, but guys, I love the Adirondacks, but guys, Vermont's beautiful too. Uh, if you guys haven't been to Vermont, the Green Mountains, check them out. You won't be disappointed, trust me. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna start heading back. I got about a 20 minute drive and I'll be at Jamaica State Park. All right, guys, I'm just getting back. Um, it's pretty late, it's about nine o'clock. Um, I'm gonna try this Jamaican State Park um, beverage here to see how it tastes. A little foamy, huh? Oh man, that's really good. I'm not even lying. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, get the Jamaican State Park one, guys. And fingers crossed, I see that one tomorrow. Alright, guys. I'm going to call my family, talk to them. And I'm going to hit, go to, uh, yeah, fall asleep. Then I'm going to fall asleep. And then, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Alright, guys. Later.